I'm gonna say that now it's time for underpants. Okay. And then we'll go. Ready. Then we'll start. We're gonna start, I'm gonna say gonna start it. the episode like that? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Anytime. Okay. And now it's time for underpants. Wow. I love that. It's so formal. No, I'm so into the formality <laughs> of what you just did. Thank you. I think people complain. It's the little things. Yeah, people complain how we don't have any structure. I can, I'm complaining that structure. with them. Yeah. No, Arwen came in hot with, and now we've already derailed it so quickly. We're just commenting. I know, but that's. And that beautiful like we voice could have just come and in, the articulation. But we could have come fresh. in with the under, we could have oh. just done the segment and instead we had to talk about how well it's the first time i've heard it so i had to acknowledge it's I, on me you. this week isn't it was that like a no no it's no like the, a burden it is. it's on me this week but isn't it is it? it's on me right it is. that was the You're, agreement it's well, i'm glad i came prepared i am too i don't keep a lot of tchotchkes around my house and uh it was kind of hard i was looking around the rooms thinking what could i bring in that's like what would i and then i realized oh but i have this and I think I have two weeks off until my next one, so then I'll panic about the next one. But this one, why I still have this, <clears throat> I don't know. I have no idea what you're holding. I'm Good, so I'm glad. Okay. Do you know what I'm holding? I have no idea. Good, I'm glad. Is this <clears throat> something Shane wore? Yep. <gasps> Which camera do I show this to? Why don't that, you give it to this that one? That one, do you see yeah. that? So this is... Can you hold it up higher? Oh, like that? Sorry. This is my... Vintage. Are you trying to sell that? Are you trying to make money right now? Are you going to sell it? No, I'm not selling this. <laughs> I love this T-shirt. I love it. This is my vintage Iggy Pop shirt that... Um, uh, he almost looks like Sean Cassidy in that, that picture. That Cynthia Summers, our incredible costume designer. Is that a real vintage Iggy Pop shirt? Yeah. Got it at Filth Mart, actually. Yep. They have the greatest stuff. They have the best stuff. And um, and the, 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 the rule was that you could get T-shirts with emblems on them. Uh, but you had to wear the T-shirts inside out. Otherwise, you'd have to pay for the person's likeness. And so there's and who this, can afford that? Well, exactly. So and I've I've, and I've always been pretty mind. I've been mindful of that. But the day we were f we were filming, I forgot to put it inside out, and Cynthia got so upset. Well, and I, I understand bet, I why. Bet Rose did. Somebody the producer, because she's like, now we have to pay for she's it. Like, Damn it! I can't do my pool. <laughs> <clears throat> I was going to put a hot tub in this summer. Son of a bitch. I had well, the whole thing planned. So what happened? Well, we shot the scene. Yeah. I shot the scene wearing it you know, just like this. Uh-huh. And I think when they looked at the dailies, they realized, oh, fuck. Or maybe they realized it after we had shot that scene and moved on th later that day. But that's, that's what when I'm thinking. The Cynthia panic. came to me and she's like, you didn't put the T-shirt inside out. And... I was so ashamed because I'm always mindful of it, and I had just forgotten that day. I keep so, thinking you're going to toss it to me, like, and you're like, and you can have it. I keep Because you keep rolling mm -hmm. it up like you're going to be like, and here, kid. It's a great T-shirt. You can take it. And it's only got, and I've had this T-shirt now. Wait, so that, wait, that show, we shot that in. I am wearing red. 2000. It really well. We shot that episode in what? Two, shot that season in 2005. So this thing has been. Around for close to twenty years, right? And it was already around before that. Yeah. So okay. the, the cotton has only gotten any. You want to see it? You want? Is yeah. it a touch and tell? It's like please touch well, the museum. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then it has a big coffee stain. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is great. It's a good one, right? Thank you so much. It's gonna. It uh. really will fit me well. Mm. It's Thank a great. Bob. Good job. Thanks. Is that a so good... So show and tell is not so bad. It's all right. I mean, like I said, in two weeks when like I had to do it, it back again. So bad. That's how I felt for the last five minutes. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> now you know what... It, and, and, and watch this. And so I just... Watch. You're going to... It's going to make you want it. <laughs> See? It's like you want to catch it. <laughs> I didn't realize I was so enticing with it. Yeah. That is my show and tell. Good job, Kate. Thank you. Was it better than it was okay. grade school? In two weeks when I have to do this again, I'm going to look around and think, what it does do I not, bring It doesn't have time? to be show related. We've talked about this. So I you know. You don't have to look for like memorabilia. I know. I just. It could just be something good, you want to talk about. That was a good tie-in. Yeah. Well, we've been on the air for a couple of weeks now. What do you think? What, what do, do th I think? Yeah. I wanted, what, what are your you? thoughts? My <laughs> don't answer I a mean, question with a question. Well, hmm. It's exposing. Like that, like just then, like I took a sip. 
Whereas like before it would have just been a sip. Alicia, and before like we'd be in our sweatpants, sip. kicking back in the guest house, I Kim know. wandering in asking us if we want refills. I know. I do miss Kim and her cocktails. Maybe I'm sucking on a lollipop and it's just hanging off by the side so you don't we hear it on the mic. We could always hear that. That was always. But you didn't see it. Clanking around <clears> your teeth. No, there's a lot of exposure. Are you bothered by the exposure? No, I just, this, this is what, it, no, it's, it, it's part of the territory. Does it bother you? <laughs> what territory? Doing this, being on camera, like you're just exposed. And you, right. You get the visual and the audio. Does it upset you? No, I mean, you know, I, 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 does it, no, it doesn't upset me. It does make me feel worried sometimes. Like I wake up in the night and I'm like. Because you're exposed. I guess it's, yeah, maybe it's exposure. But of what? What? I don't know. I feel like we're in therapy now. Well, let's talk about it. Let's, un let's unpack it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, would it, what does it make me feel? I, I, you know, I want to say the right thing, but then I'm like, we've been doing this for four years. Mm -hmm. So what's different? I think it's when someone sees you saying something, it's different it than hearing. It becomes more real. Yeah, right. even though it was us the whole time. Well, also, you think about well, how does my hair look today? What I, outfit should I wear? I can't. If I if I add that in. But you did. You put some thought into well, the jacket. To, you said, I'm going to wear my red jacket. Well, I, I actually go like, what? I, did I put a lot of thought into what I'm wearing? No, I just think like, oh, am I going to have enough clothes for the next couple right. of years <laughs> to wear on my pants? <laughs> It's a good point. I'm going to have to repeat. I would have this anxiety in in uh, junior high because I had a pair of purple. Do you remember this? Okay. We all remember this. You have your wardrobe, which was limited. Right? Mine mm -hmm. was. And then I would get my sister's hand-me-downs. And then maybe, like, not maybe, once a year you'd go shopping with your mom and you'd get, like, that special outfit for back to school. Right? I had a pair of purple parachute pants that were... So cool. And if I had them today, I mean, they were like lavender purple. Everyone had the red ones because of Michael Jackson. Everyone had black ones. I had purple. Nobody had purple. I don't know where I got them. Somewhere at the mall. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why I was the only one who had them. I would plan when t I could wear them again. I didn't have that problem. I wore a, uni were I wore a uniform. Oh. God, what it that's such a pressure relief. It really is. You'd find a way to individualize your uniform, especially in high school. Not in grade school because we wore the jumpers, but in uh in high school you would have your kilts and you had to stick to a color palette. It was blue, white, and yellow. And I believe maybe hunter green, I'm not sure, but it was certainly blue, white, and yellow. And so your sweater or your polo shirt or your button down had to be one of those colors. And so you would individualize that you would work within that structure oh it sounds kind of great it was great it was I the mean, one it... thing about catholic school i will give massive credit for was that the uniform and i always got in trouble because i would push it just a little too far right i'm sure you did can we talk about the photo shoot because in the photo shoot we had a uniform photo I, shoot. I wanted to talk about our photo shoot yeah because we wore we had a theme which was wearing the same thing we did um do you want to tell everyone what we did I thought I was. Okay, good. Um, we did a photo shoot. We thought, oh, we need some new, more current photos of us together because we have some things coming up. And we came up with a theme. We bought the same – we bought two of each thing. Well, our theme was like basically to be twins. Exactly. So, Which was kind of great because then we didn't have to worry about, what are you bringing? I'm what bringing are you wearing? this. What color Yay. is that? Yeah, none of that. It took it all – it's – yeah. It's the way to go. And we had a full day of a photo shoot. And now, and then we both learned very quickly that we have. Wait, you're skipping over the the best part. Okay, go ahead. Our shopping trip. Oh, go, you, go ahead, please chime in. Well, so we came up with a theme. Yep. And then we said, well, let's go. Let's you know pick me up at ten thirty, and we'll go to the mall. And we'll go to. Um, I love a mall. <laughs> the best. I love a mall. And we have one very near where we live. Mm -hmm. That we both love. It's kind of empty. I mean, most malls are, but like this These one's like extra are, yeah. empty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. No. And we I, were in the men's department. I don't know where you're going we, with this. Well, you were. You became the stylist. Yeah. How did that happen? We. You. I just took, took over. over. You didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. It happened because you were. 
I was trying to just like, you're in a thing lately where you're just gonna and you're just taking well, I just want to stay. Like, I just want to stay organized. It's like okay, we have how many looks? Great, we need two of each thing. Let's get the same size. Okay, now does this look good? Are the right, lines like, going to work? Here, put it there. We had yeah. to like lay it out in the store and like. The people that work there kept trying to like clean take up it. after we're us. Like, no, 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 we're good. Yeah. Well, they wanted to take our big pile of stuff because they thought we were discarding it. And we said, "No, we're going to be taking all of it." Right. Which we did. Anyway, <laughs> so we yeah we would get like two khakis. Oh, and I also was like, I was mm. like, "You're not going to get nothing can fit. It all has to be oversized." Right. Which is very on brand these days. Sure. And I couldn't be happier with it. And then. We did the photo shoot and <clears throat> we go through the works and you get pulled away and you do yours first and then I go and do mine. And we both realized that, holy shit, we haven't been in front of a camera in a very long time. And God damn, is it hard. That's what you want to get to? Well, I was just having a conversation about yeah. what happened. Like we yeah. both were like, oh my God, I forgot how to do this. Well... I think taking pictures has always been hard. I've never been a fan of it, but it get, gets a little harder as I you I don't like – photo shoots older. make me nervous. Always. They, they make me insecure. Always. I'm also like, what, I, how do you pose? Like even if you try to look like you're like – Nuck. Like that, you can't do this. No. Because then you're seeing your portrait. But you have to look like – You have to be like – Casual. Yeah, like yeah, casual. Or like you have to like so let the art – like Unnatural to look natural. Yeah, that or – Oh, yeah. See, you're actually like really that? good at it. No, Yeah, I'm you have not. to throw your whole like – yeah, but then if you get too down off. low, then it doesn't and work. And you're just like, you have to look like you don't give a shit. Yeah. And I, I give a shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you like, uh, but we have the best photographer and best hair and makeup. Yeah. Absolutely. Kate but we Romero, both... Brett, like we're like with a great team of people great, that are we... all supporting us and like, let's do a great job. And then you and I sink into a depression because we look at pictures of ourselves and you're like, what happened? And it's no one's fault. It's just life. <laughs> you guys look great. No one's fine. What happened? I don't. I don't. We think had it's that. that. Bad. Oh my god, we had this conversation. I don't. I think anyone our age would I understand. Think, like, what happened? I just think. I just think like how. Like how you feel on the inside isn't always how you look on the outside, sure. and a photograph will represent that. And you see it sometimes, and in it's, your eyes. Yeah, and you see that, and you think, "Wow, I." I mean, but that's life. It's not a diss. It's fact. Anyone our age listening would probably agree. Maybe. I don't know. I just want to be happy to be here, like in life. We I want. Are. I want. We're doing pants no, at Spotify. Like, I want to have that outlook I used to have. You've always had that outlook. I know. That's why, like, when but we go down, but it hasn't gone these, away. I know. When we go down these like rabbit holes, sometimes I'm like, that's not really my attitude. Wait, what outlook? I know. That, you know, just like, oh, I'm getting older and I'm huh. like, I'm just saying, I'm just so, no, I I'm not taking it. I'm so happy to be alive. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not trying to get really esoteric about it. I was just saying, like, sometimes you see pictures of yourselves when you haven't had a photo shoot in a couple years and you're like, oh, wow, it's just a fact. Right. It okay. doesn't mean that you look at life negatively or positively. It just means that you see a picture of yourself and you're like, oh, wow. Eesh. It doesn't, it, it's not always easy. Right. That's it's it. Not, yeah. I think right. anyone would have that with like a school picture or, you know, you get your picture done for like, like a family portrait. My sister, by the way, is trying to pitch when Kim and I go home next week. She's a family like, portrait at we the mall? And I was like, oh my God, no. No, not at the mall. Like you get a, you know, local photographer and everyone wears the same thing. And I was like, that and is, you stand in front it. of a white I was like, that is green never. Curtain. And gonna happen. She's like, I know, I know, I know, but how great to have it. And I was like, Would it be? Is it? Yeah, it is kind of great. Mm -hmm. You and Mia did that for me once. Mia and I went to Sears yep. in Vancouver. And you and Mia dressed up as a husband and wife. No, a lesbian couple. Oh, a lesbian couple. Yeah. And sent it to me when and I was in New York. We pretended to be a couple with the photographer, and we were both like. <laughs> <laughs> but you sent it to me when I was in New York working, and that's oh god! If I had, I nobody wish has I, them, I, and we wore outfits. I have and them somewhere. We I have to find. We're it. telling because they have props. They have tons of props right. there, and we were like, well, you know, she's really into like Mia. <laughs> Mia, she was like, 
almost like Paul Bunyan. Like she was really into like camping. And I was like, Didn't Mia have femme. a wig on? It, I was the femme. No, she did her hair a certain way. She like tied it, was, it back in a certain yeah, way. Yeah, but like it was, there was but a we front, there was so a front ridiculous. Bang and, and the woman had to take us seriously. <laughs> and we were there for like two hours. <laughs> and we had so many, pay- and I don't know who has them now. And we sent them to all you guys. It was fantastic. Yeah, all I know good. is I received mine when I was in New York. Yeah. Okay. And you guys signed it. Yeah. We had names. We like made up names. I remember. That's incredible. Yeah. We're oh, it's lost. good. Oh, it's good. Okay, so today we're doing um, Q and A's. Q and A's. Q and A's. Mm-hmm. Q and A's. Right? We have lots of questions. Okay. Great. All right, let's hear it. Um, all right, let's start with. Therapy from Anonymous. Hey, Pants. I started therapy and I'm feeling worse than when I first began. It's only been a few weeks, but I'm 35 and this is my first time ever doing therapy. I expected some discomfort, but things feel really bad. I just want to know, is this normal? Mm. I'm kind of worried that maybe I don't like my therapist. She never laughs and I don't know if I picked (laughs) the right one. (laughs) Do you have any advice on sticking with it or finding the right therapist? Mm. I do want to say that I have had the laugh thing. With I've, the therapist? Yes, where I, I want to be, I want to make them laugh. I want them mm-hmm. to like me. I want to make them laugh. I want them to think about me sometimes, like <laughs> late at night when they're like. Late at night? You know, no, not like in a sexual way, but just like that person that like. <laughs> where she, where the. Or like that and client's this special. A narcissistic thought. This is just Are like you? wanting to be. It's probably my people pleasy side where I'm like, I hope she really likes me in a real way. Like not just in a, I want your check. Like she's looking forward to my appointment. (laughs) I've had that. My therapist had a great sense of humor. We laughed all the time. I guess she liked me. I hope she did. (laughs) But therapists are like anything sometimes you got to go to more than one you Mm -hmm. don't get it right in the first shot you gotta it's it's try them on you gotta try them on and give it a few sessions and if it's something's not clicking move on it's okay it's it's it's, yeah and also of course you're gonna feel uncomfortable when you first start therapy especially if you've never had it oh well, there's just because there's a point to it, which is you have to unearth all those. Yeah, and a therapist's things. job isn't going to say, "Okay, so this is how we're going to start." I'm going to ask you this, and then, no, it's like they'll help guide you, but they're not going to give you a homework assignment saying, "Okay, so now we're going to start here," and so it's up to you to kind of kick sessions off a little bit and goes in whatever direction it goes in and unearth stuff. It 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 moves it moves the it moves stuff inside of you around. It takes a minute to then settle back in well it's, it's not going to feel good either no it Comes doesn't later. it's it's uncomfortable and uh, there is an upside to it which is you'll get past that but it's it's hard at first i had a hard time at first i think i think we all do but it's yeah worth but it. i had That's all those feelings I, I understand but stick with it but maybe she is not maybe this therapist isn't the right one yeah that could be the case that could too. very well if you want someone to have a good laugh then just to lighten it up sometimes i get that yeah, I mean, I was making light of it, but no, it's not like you're having having a beer with a friend of yours. But no. you want to have a little levity at times. It's not all tears and tissues. No, it's Excuse not all tears me. and tissues. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> all right, um, let's go to. Okay, this one's fun. Dear Pants, I have a crush on a new friend. We are both waitresses at the same bar, and we just clicked as soon as we met. I thought we were on the same page, the gay page, and then she started telling me about a divorce she's going through and her ex-husband. I don't want to get into it, but the guy sounds terrible. I still think she likes me, but I just don't want to be a creep. What should I do? Okay, first of all, you're not a creep. Let's start there. And also, just because she has a husband doesn't mean... And also, she, she doesn't, doesn't have, have a, a husband card. anymore. Because but just because she divorce, did doesn't mean she did. doesn't have a gay card. Mm-hmm. She could very well have that card. Just from the way this has been described, Sounds... I think there's something happening. Don't you? Definitely. Yeah. I think she's uh, letting you know with her eyes. Or you wouldn't be. That's the thing. 
I think it's so rare that you feel that way yep. and it's not. It's a two-way street. Yeah. Always. You don't make, the, imagine all the people you meet in the world every day. And that one person makes you feel that way yep. and you think it's just you. I've always mm -hmm. said that attraction is a two-way street. Always. You've always said that? Always said it. So should she make a move or should she I hold back? Make, I don't know. That's for her to I don't to know decide. if it's a move. I think I would, I mean, Kate, I don't know. You're more the expert in this area, but. How am I the expert? I don't know. I just feel like you are. I was going to ask you if what you think I'm saying is right. I think you should just keep moving along with this friendship. Mm. I'm going to put that in quotes. <laughs> and then that time will come where you both know. The thing is happening in the eyes, or yeah. the conversation is about to start. I kind of or agree. the kiss is going to happen. I kind of agree with you. Like if you have patience, it'll reveal this, itself. The moment will reveal. I agree. Okay, I, good. I agree. I wouldn't give any other advice. I think if you make a move, that's going to feel. Yeah, don't false. make a move. Yeah, that's no, just, that's it's like a move. Uh -uh. Who wants a move? That would a turn off. I mean, keep it organic. Keep it real. Do what Leisha said. I have nothing oh. to contribute. That's it. Oh my God. Great. Wow. Okay. Thanks, Kate. Hi, Pants. I have a terrible case of writer's block. I feel mm. so stuck and I have for a while. If you've ever creatively doubted yourself or found yourself in a rut, was there anything that helped? I'm open to all oh. caps, anything. XOXO Robin. <sighs> okay. Writer's block is the worst. <clears throat> Creative blocks, I'm going to call them because we don't all write, but I think there's always something that you're stopping in yourself that you're not like you're I I think the block is sort of self-induced sometimes. I think we're waiting for this thing to happen and I don't always think it's a waiting game. I think you have to like make yourself create because I think creation makes more creation. Like, or I can find, I can say that for myself. Like, let's say I want to paint. Mm. It's not going to hit me. You have mm. to like set your stuff up, put your table, put your paints on a table, mm -hmm. prep it. Even if you prep it the night before and you're like, tomorrow I'm going to paint. Or you, some people have, it, you know, in the calendar, they have an actual time that they yeah. decide to go in and do this thing. Or like if you want to make something in the garage, it's not going to just come over you. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Well, I think sometimes you have to like put yourself in this situation. You have to force yourself. I wouldn't call it force, but like set the stage. Right. Um, or if you're having a real case of writer's block or creative block, go out and do something else. And don't put so much pressure. Because I think when you put pressure on yourself, it actually can get worse. So go outside, go, go out in the garden water your plants, mm. um, take the trash out, just do laundry, do something that's not that just to give yourself a mental break or the pressure and then come back to it. Cause even like 20 minutes off, like from the pressure you give yourself. No, we just literally said the most opposite thing. I feel like they go together though. They do go together. You gotta like make. You gotta protect the time, mm -hmm. to but also do not it. pressure, not not beat yourself up over it. Like You're when like, I have my creative blocks, I'll say, okay, you know. And if I have if I have a deadline, it's harder because it's like I have to get this done by this time. But I'll give myself. I'll say, you know, what, I'm gonna set my timer for thirty minutes. And I'm gonna go outside and I'm going to putter around outside, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Is, is it sweeping the leaves off the patio? I don't know. It's something, and clean up a little bit, and then see how I feel and, th and make a coffee and then sit down and do whatever it is that I'm blocked out about. Normally it'll give me enough of a clear head to be like, okay, I'll start. Hi, Kate and Leisha. My best friend is getting married in Italy this summer. Fun. Congratulations to her. But uh -oh. she asked me to be in the wedding and I don't have a ton of money. She knows this. She has more money than most of our friends. I love her so much, but this feels like such a big mm. ask. Mm. What are your thoughts on destination weddings? And is there a way I can talk to her about this without being rude? Okay, that's a two-parter question. Can I start? Mm -hmm. Please. I don't like destination weddings. I think they're a huge <laughs> imposition. Just get fucking married. Oh. <laughs> don't travel to the ends of the earth to do it. And don't 
schlep your entire friends and family clan to witness this. Just get married. Sorry. I know that's it's very Valentine's unro- Day, by the way. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that sounds incredibly romantic. Hold on to your hat, Leisha. I know you Wait, can't. there's more. There's more coming. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't believe in it. I, 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 I wouldn't do it. You didn't do it. Damn right. But I, I respect people who don't. They're like, you know what? We're going to keep it local. I really respect that. So I'm sorry you have to go to a destination wedding. Why do you think, why? Why what? What's so, what's so bad about traveling the world? Maybe you don't, there's nothing wrong. That's, that's not the, that's not the but question. But it is. People want to have, they want to like set this, the, the moment in a different place than like where yeah. they live. I think it's like, a, you know, let's get out of Cincinnati. Let's go to Italy. Sure. But that's, it's like there's, it's their special day. They want to. But what's so wrong? What's I must say, I'm not saying anything's wrong with it. Uh, I don't agree with it. I, I know think, why. Because I just don't agree with it. What the why? 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 What? I want to know what I the think it's, rub I is think for it's, you. I think there's, I, I don't like putting an expectation on people or a hin- like that's that could be a hindrance. Like our mm-hmm. caller is calling in about that's a hindrance on someone. That's a lot. You're asking a lot of people. You're asking a lot. Hey, I'm going to get married. Amazing. Can't wait to come. It's going to be in where? Italy. Italy. I'd love to go to Italy, but maybe now isn't the right time where I can swing going to Italy. But now I feel obligated to because... Right, because you feel like a bad friend if you don't. Because Sam and Ham are going to go get married and now I I have to make it. It's just... I'm not into it. I just... I'm not into it. I think... My marriage shouldn't be anyone else's problem. I don't want to make something special into anyone else's problem. Right. Where they feel like they have to be there. No. Unless you have the bucks to swing it and be like, hey, we're having a small wedding in Italy. Tickets and accommodations are paid for. That'd be great. That's how I would mm-hmm. do it. But I'm not in a position to do that. But that's how I would if I was doing a destination. Just pack your bags. Everything else is handled. Bring your passport. My point to what I thought you were saying was that you don't know why people get married in other places. Well, that's, that's I what you're saying. But I, think, <laughs> I think I'm imagining the people getting married. And I'm like, they can get married wherever they want. People should get married wherever they right. want. Mm-hmm. What you guys are saying but, is, but then you have to ask everyone to witness it. And that's the part I agree with. If both you, of you and on Kim want to get married and I'll get married in 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 the in, in the tundra, go for it. That's what I'm but saying. But if you want all of your friends no, to go to I the tundra with you, that. I'd say, what the I think, hell? I really? think that in my brain, I'm I find wedding or sorry, marriages to be like so personal. Mm-hmm. I don't get the witnessing of them. I don't that the production and the thank you money spent All i'm with it. you both okay but you were, I you thought were you questioning were saying, me no sorry i thought you were saying just get married in your backyard and i'm like you can get no it's the expectation it's, it's of everyone else of around. everyone else yeah yeah that's too much so i feel much. you who's this per- what, what's this person's name jerk of honor jerk of honor respect <laughs> i feel bad for you jerk um don't go I think it's okay to be honest with your friends. I definitely oh. think the conversation that needs to be had should be had. Also, it's just a soon. wedding. Who and cares? if someone is like close enough to you that they want you in their wedding, I feel like you have to respect that mm-hmm. relationship and be like, I got to be honest with you. I can't, I can't afford it. I can't, I can't swing it right, right now. now. Yeah. And also, it's just a fucking wedding. Yeah. The wedding's not the marriage. Like it, precisely. Exactly. I, I, I don't. I just, I, I just don't buy into this big wedding thing. It's like if just, Kim and I get married, we're going to do it somewhere, but I'm not going to have anyone there. All right. Ready? Yeah. Dear Pants, my ex shares custody of their dog with their ex, and it is making me a little bananas. I can imagine. They love their dog, Oof. but their ex <laughs> is a little much. No. We're talking Oof. about getting a place together, right. but this feels like an issue, oh, and man. I think that it's going to make living together kind of a nightmare. Oh, yeah. God. This whole I thing wouldn't about say this sh- to them, mm. but I is sharing custody it. of a dog insane? Am I an asshole? No. No, you're not. I know that- What people, a nightmare. This is such a- What le- is Is this that? a lesbian thing? Because I, I know I a lot know. of lesbians who, buy, who get a dog together, they break up, and then they say, but you know what? We're going to share the no. dog. No, and, somebody, someone take the dog. And I know they start Pick. off with good reasons they and good um, expectations. Expect, intentions. Int- intentions. And then uh, within maybe four months, it goes to shit. Mm-hmm. One person will always wind up as the sole 
caretaker. Um, Parent. But until that yeah. day comes where the realization of this is insane. It is. Um, you have to suffer through it and act like you're sharing custody of a child. I mean, I... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I get I get the lo- losing a pet in a relationship. Yeah. I mean, I ha- I was in a relationship where we had two dogs and we both took a dog. Yeah, I've lost pets in relationships before. I get it. But Jesus Christ. I mean, I know someone who broke up with her girlfriend and they shared a dog and the dog moved overseas into another country and my friend would travel overseas to visit the dog. Wow. I mean, that's a commitment. How And did it work? Yes. Forever? For a very long time, I believe, until the dog passed away. I mean, you can't move in with someone especially, with these feelings inside and not bring it up. Especially, and, ha- and I think this caller also, the, the person writing in also said that this, that their current person's ex, who the dog is being shared with, is a little much, right? Mm-hmm. So that may, Maybe they don't have to bring that part up. Well, no, but whatever <laughs> those examples are, she, they didn't get into specifics. So whatever a little much is, bring it up to the person and be like, you know what? Your ex does this, this, no, and this. No, see, and um, no, I disagree. Well, it depends on how Bring extre- up the dog situ- or the pet Depending situation. on how extreme the ex is in regards to this shared re- thing, I'd bring it up. I feel for this person writing. But then in. they're not going to hear you about the the animal. Well, they're they're, gonna, I'm, I know the gonna, person's a lot, but I have I want to see my animal. Or the person will say, "I get it. She, that my ex is very much like this. Let me talk to him." But does that mean they stop sharing custody? Yeah. Um, it, they will. Here's the the thing is, is they will eventually. That's like, but you can't say that to them. But I'm saying that like eventually, this stop. isn't going to last forever. Give it four months, five months, maybe a year. But this is going to, people are going to lose interest. Lives move on. The dog will live in one house primarily. So maybe similar to the waitresses, it's like a waiting game of 100%. like, don't move in yet. See what happens. Yep. See if this like shared custody dies down. Like I have follow up questions. Like how long have they been sharing custody? That's what by I, I know. I wish they would get into I specifics. I feel like they just. Yeah. I, I think they just broke up, and this is new. You think it's new? This well, is that's a new pretty idea. quick then to go from they just broke up, sharing custody Welcome of a to dog, the and then community. Right. Okay. I mean. All right. What's the next one? Okay. Um, hi, Kate and Leisha. My name is Melissa. I got to meet you virtually back in 2021 for my birthday, and it was the best. I was so nervous that I had to take a Xanax to calm down. (laughs) Anyway, (laughs) my question is, do either of you believe in any conspiracy theories? What's a conspiracy conspiracy theory? I don't believe in conspiracy theories because I think there are, in most cases, there are too many people involved. But what's what's an example of a conspiracy theory? I mean, like... Oh, like the moon landing. People think it, it was staged. It was fake. It was really? on a soundstage. Yeah. So for centuries, people are like trying to debunk this idea. Right. But I think there there would have been too many people involved in creating that a day on the soundstage with the fake astronauts mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. fake moon and the, mm-hmm. that the leak – Right. Yeah. The chances of it leaking and people finding out that's, oh, well, actually, you know, my boyfriend was the camera guy. Right. Like that. And that ruins conspiracy theories right. in general for me. Is Bigfoot a conspiracy theory? No. Oh. Last question. Mm. Okay. Hi, Pants. I am having a hard time at work. My coworkers are amazing, but my boss sucks. He presents well and uses language that makes him seem like a radical guy, but mm. he isn't. He's constantly taking credit for my work. Mm. It's maddening. I don't know what to do. I can't afford to quit my job. Oh. Do you have any advice on bad bosses? Oh. <laughs> um, I'm the whole taking credit for something you've done mm. is just horrible. Mm-hmm. Like that's a weak person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's someone who. Uh, oh, God. Like, you know what it makes me I feel like they've been like that since they were in like high school, that kind of person. Yeah. It makes me think of when you guys had Arlen on and she was like, if you ever doubt yourself, just look at someone who has a position higher than you who doesn't deserve to be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and use it as motivation. Yep. How did they get there? Yeah. Just. 
just recognize that like try and every time they do something dumb or shitty be like okay I'm just going to use that as and like, everyone's agreeing that and this, everyone agrees everyone agrees this person is in this position now and we're all playing it's like it, we're all playing the game that they deserve to yeah, be there it's so like a ruse like we're all like involved, involved in this like and everyone is game bu- and everyone's bullshitting themselves and bullshitting each other and it's just a bullshit fest and it's like it's crazy town it feels like crazy mm-hmm. town is really what that feels like i mean i think this person yeah. is probably not as alone as they think they are not to say that mm-hmm. like starting like office gossip is a great idea but no don't do that maybe if you find someone else who's feeling the same way it can make like your day at work a little better yeah because if you can just find one person that you can confide in and share that uh like-minded with like-minded uh mentality with uh you'll feel like you have a, a teammate at the very least and I'm willing to bet a nickel that uh, you're going to find others that feel the same way. I mean, and then there is like looking for another job Mm -hmm. on the DL. Like if you're that, I mean, seriously, if it's like. I know. I wonder what kind of job this is. Your mental health starts to decline over something like that. I'm telling you, nothing is worse than having your mental health decline from a job. Yeah. Because, I mean, life, life is more than. Right. Is worth so much more than that. Right. No one deserves that. Uh, no one deserves that. No one deserves to take that away from you. The affordability of life is mm-hmm. a very real thing for all of us. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's not easy. Nope. But I think if it's if you're that miserable, it's something you have to take seriously. Oof, I feel you, though. Yeah. I guess look for another job. I, I'd I say go secretly, look for another job. Secretly look for another look job. Look for another job. Life one. is too short. Life is too short. But it's also much easier said than done. Is that it? That's it for today. Yeah. Oh, shit. Some more bad advice (laughs) coming to you. I actually think some of our advice was good. Really? Yeah. I'm not going to say all of our advice was bad. If I was listening, or if I wrote in, I'm not sure I would be like, thank you for that. Like, I I don't know how much people get from it. I mean, I think they should take it as like an opinion from a friend. Yeah, that's Ah, a good way to say it. That's a good way to put it. Take what you want and leave the rest. I don't (laughs) know. That's my that's my advice for the advice. Can I take your shirt? Do you want this shirt? No, I want the one you were going to give me earlier. Oh, my Iggy Pop shirt? Mm-hmm. No, you're not getting this. Sorry. Okay. All Sorry. right, everybody. Okay. You saw it here. Pants. Greedy Kate. Bye. Pants. You're not getting my Iggy Pop. <laughs> Greedy Kate. <laughs> I really thought you were giving it to me the whole time. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's so sweet. You kept Why rolling it up. Why did you think up. I would give you my Iggy when Pop? When you watch the video back, you'll see that you, it kept looking.